Hey guys, this is Kiko 25X here with the ARG at the ARG Circuit Series in Fort Worth, Texas. We're here, we're here with your first ARG Circuit Series champion, Patrick Hoban. Patrick, you seems like you've been winning or topping so much lately. Um, how does it feel to be the new or the very first ARG Circuit Champion? It's great. I mean, I don't think it's even hit yet, honestly. Really? Fifteen hundred dollars in credit is what you just won. Uh, what are you planning on doing with that money? I definitely want to go to YCS Italy. YCS Italy. That yep. seems like a pretty good investment to me. Uh, tell me just what you thought of the event in general. We did an interview with you at the beginning of the week, and you said you were really excited about it. How did you see it play out? Uh, I mean, I think it was great. Like, um, especially the coverage. Like, the coverage was just like on another level. Um, I thought the rounds ran really smoothly. I thought the uh, the competition was high. Overall, a really good experience. Awesome. Um, well, go ahead and I guess give us your deck list here. Uh, what were you playing first of all? Dragoonity Rulers. Dragoonity Rulers. Yep. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get to the deck. It's uh, it's really really similar from the deck I played in Toronto. I think the main deck is only two cards different. Okay. I played um, all the dragons except Tidal. No Tidal. Right. The main reason for that is just the only bad hands are all monster hands, so you right. don't want that many. Um, so I played Red Eyes. This card's awful but you still kind of have to play it. I sided out like every game two and three though. Um, everybody, like I had Ducks Mistletane on opposed in the finals and everybody probably thinks I'm just dumb, but I sided out Red Eyes. That's why I didn't right. like go crazy there. Okay, and you can explain that a little bit towards the end of the video, right. obviously. Uh, uh, three Ducks, two Phalanx, and one Mistletane. Okay. And 16 monsters. Then for the spells, um, three swords. This is probably the best spell card. Three upstarts. Three ravine. One gold sarcophagus. One book of moon. Two cards of consonants. Two terraformings. Okay. Dragon ravine was a pretty big card this weekend. Yeah, certainly. Um, um, when we were talking to Fraser, he basically said the last guy with ravine usually wins, yep. and. Uh, so I saw, we saw a couple of your feature matches that we were filming, and um, I think you commented on one saying that if the other player was able to get rid of your ravine, would have been in a pretty good position, but he was just never able to. Um, and so it seemed like it did really well for you this weekend. Yep. Uh, the traps were three reckless. I, th I think this is, next to like return, probably the best card in the deck. It's very good. Uh, I, the main reason you want to play three of these, or, um, is because it's a combo deck and you really just need a bunch of extra cards. So this just gives you like the extra cards. Is that basically where the upstart goblins came from as well? I, I think you should play upstarts and everything just because it's fewer cards. <laughs> the upstart theory. <laughs> the upstart theory, that's right. Uh, return, two emptiness, um, warning, and then Regeki breaking. Compulse. These are the only two cards different from Toronto in the main deck. I took out Bottomless and Trap Stun um, for these two. Uh, Trap Stun just wasn't that good. Um, it was okay for Toronto because the meta was really undefined. I was going to play a bunch of different decks. But here, um, with the meta being more defined, I didn't think this was necessary. How did Regeki and, break work out for you? Uh, it was good. It, like, it was okay. Um, I just wanted a, like a main deck out to emptiness. And these both seem better than Bottomless because uh, I could draw them when they have an established field already. Okay. Alright, so on to the uh, extra deck. Uh, two Drago sacks. Big Eye. Guy's Treasure. A Tom. Stardust. Scrap Dragon. Bot Roller. Colossal. Oh, <laughs> two Crimson Blader. Gator. Three Vagriana. Okay. Two cards I want you to talk about really quickly if you can are one. Uh, one Big Eye. Frazier said that you guys had discussed wanting two maybe more than just the um, one. Honestly, I never... That and Thought Ruler probably came up the least in the extra deck. Yeah. Okay. I think I only made one like one or two times Okay. Big Eye. And um, on the Thought Ruler, uh, explain how that came in handy uh, in your uh, semifinal match. I played against him in... Uh, top four and I was under one day so I couldn't deal any damage but I made Thought Ruler to attack over uh, his Watt and then gained a thousand and that ended up being the difference in the game. It was very good. Very good. Uh, and then the side deck. 
I cited like one DD Crow. Um, a lot of people side debunk over this. Uh, I don't think either are particularly very good. This card's okay. Um, the main reason I play it over debunk in this deck is because it's searchable off Gator. Then I played two Maxi. Um, I didn't actually. I don't side this against dragons. I sided against like Mermail in the mirror match. Um, two Electric Virus also from the mirror match. Uh, three Mystical Space Typhoon. <coughs> two Encore. Um, the main reason I uh, in Toronto I played three of this card. The main reason I dropped it was because I added Skill Drain, so it wasn't like I was really just cutting one, I was essentially adding two more since it's still about to Right. Um, I cited Bottomless for when I went first, and then I cited two Divine Wrath, um, mostly for spell books. Uh, it's very good against them. Alright, well, um, what did you think about the tournament overall? Uh, the meta, I mean, was it what you expected? Uh, yeah, for the most part. I mean, it was a lot of dragons, a lot of spell books. Um, pretty much very accurate representation of what the meta is. I thought it was a very competitive tournament. And if you want to promote the next ARG Circuit Series? <laughs> yeah, uh, the next one is next month in uh, Columbus, Ohio. And what are the dates on that? October 21st? 12th and 13th. 12th and 13th, okay. okay. Alright guys, well, uh, thank you and congratulations Patrick on winning the first ARG Circuit Series and thank of course you. as ARG always says, play harder, go home.